Good day, fellow modelers. Welcome back to another episode of Handy Reviews. I'm Mr. Handy. Um, today, just got this in the mail. Uh, we're going to take a look at uh, Model Art Aircraft Photo Book Number 3. As you can see, it's on the SU-27 flanker in Ukrainian service. So, um, as some of you may know, and for those that don't know, uh, model art is from Japan. Uh, so most of the text is in Japanese. Uh, all the text is in Japanese. Uh, and some of them, they tend to, uh, uh, they tend to, uh, translate some of it into English so we'll go through it this is number three I got this off of uh, Hobby League Japan so um, as I said Japanese so there's your contents uh, all in Japanese and then of course we have some Ukrainian it looks like so uh, we're gonna go uh, this is all basically a uh, this is all picture book so it's all gonna be pictures of the aircraft and the different types of aircraft. So here we get into the, uh, get right into it. So as you can see, there's your Japanese text and then your English text underneath. Uh, so we get to see some flying samples of the different variants of the SU-27. This is gonna be for the first little bit of the book. As you can see more views different views of the su-27 and the su-27 ub more of the ub su-27s now we get into uh japanese text history of the ukrainian air force english text of the ukrainian air force japanese text of the history of the su-27 in Ukrainian Air Force and then English text of the same we get into some scale drawings these I believe are 170 second scale um, I'm not too sure it doesn't usually they post it or they uh, they mark the page and, and say uh, what it is but nice camouflage uh, examples top views uh, here are some of the side views again you get your Japanese text and then there's a little bit of English text in each two. So it looks like what they've done here is they've given you a side view and then a picture of the actual aircraft for these different samples. So again more side views. Uh, demo of the SU-27 from 1996 to 2000. So yeah or 2002. So uh, just again some close-up pictures of the SU-27. Uh, some pictures of uh, the weapons layout. These are always kind of cool to see. Uh, again, just some detail walk-arounds. You get to actually see how dirty some of these aircraft get. So, again, more... Um, more detailed pictures. Uh, what I'm noticing to here is uh, on this page, this is uh, in Japanese. This is an English text as well. So you have, it seems that almost on every, every caption, they'll have the Japanese caption and then they'll have the English text next to it. And now you get the difference between the UB and the S. UB on one side, S on the other, or sorry, UB on the one side, S on the other. We get some uh, cockpit pictures of the S. And then this looks like the back of the UB, I'm assuming. Or, nope, that is still the front, uh, still the front of the cockpit on the, uh, on the S. It's just, yeah. <clears throat> so really getting into some good detail on the cockpit here's your uh, uh, 
uh, right side uh, uh, console. Here's your left side console. Um, here's the UB back, it looks like. And get into some of the uh, mechanisms of the cockpit, the ejection seats. And this looks like the underneath of the uh, canopy. So, some good, good pictures of the aircraft. <clears throat> There's the air brake, the dorsal air brake. And this looks like uh, just pictures of the the uh, front uh, spoilers. It looks like you've got your flaps in the back, and it kind of gives you some detail of the flaps. Some more detail of the uh, stinger on the SU-27. So obviously your flare and chaff here, more flare and chaff, and your odd rods, IFF. Um, good pictures of the engine. And nice colors too, so you can actually do some detail on those on those uh, those engines, the burner cans and the aluminum around the back. Uh, the different aerials for the back, tails, all the lumps and bumps, which is nice to see. Again, more tail pictures. More pictures of the front of the tail. So we're really going through a, uh, a very detailed walk. Um, it's almost like a pilot's uh, walk, checking all the different um, uh, all the different parts of the plane to make sure that everything is working well. Uh, so a little bit of the wheel wells, some of the attachment points. For your in between the the uh, the engines for the missiles again more uh, detail of the stinger more rods here's your IRST some more of the uh, different probes on the aircraft at the front. There's some really good detailed pictures of your IFF odd rods and your air sensors. Some good detailed pictures of the uh, the gun port area. And then we get into the landing gear. So here's your front landing gear. And some pretty good, actually, pretty good detail of getting right into right into it so of course for a, a Japanese for Japanese publication they tend to do this quite a bit the Japanese they really like getting in there and getting in the detail so um, this is the uh, the main landing gear and in the back it's interesting to see this I never I never knew this on the su25 or on the su27 but they seem to have these uh, locks uh, for the uh, for the main landing gear on the body that when it goes down it clicks into this lock here so it's rather interesting to see that and then you really you know get into the detail and the innards of the of the wheel well and the the actual gear itself here again really getting into the wheel well for detail there's your uh, rails launch rails <clears throat> slash ECM I believe there's ECM system in those uh, on the wing tips and again really getting into the the detail of the pylons and again more of the walk around air intake we get into some of the missiles now the weapons some good detail of the weapons coming up in here And uh, you get to see the pilot suits and then patches. And that's the end of it. There it is. 
Um, like I said, I got this from Hobby Link Japan. I'm going to say it was about 35 bucks Canadian. Um, if you're looking at getting it, I suggest getting it from Hobby Link Japan. Uh, eBay has got these things priced up to $55, which is crazy. Um, but I mean, that's, that's eBay, right? Uh, but yeah, if you're interested, um, in my experience, there doesn't appear to be a lot on the flanker right now, uh, with regards to, uh, books. There's the, uh, absolute thick, super history on the SU-27 by Yefim Gordon and, uh, Dmitry, I can't remember his last name. It's base, it's one of the uh, famous Russian fighter books, and they just did a uh, an updated version. Uh, I'm gonna review that here, probably next. Um, but uh, it, that that is a great book. Unfortunately, it doesn't give you the the walk around pictures like this one. Um, I don't know of any other really good walk around pictures of the SU-27. When it comes to um, Soviet aircraft, that's always the hard start. That's always the hard stuff. That's trying to find good references. So uh, this is definitely worth it. Uh, gives you some really good close-in uh, pictures. Um, the only thing that it's lacking that Model Art sometimes does is the illustrated versions. And those are sometimes a little bit nicer and a little more uh, clearer and make a little more sense when you're trying to copy what is there especially for wheel wells and stuff like that they tend to do some illustrations um especially with the uh the thicker monographs that they originally did for all the uh, world war ii aircraft so um other than that yeah uh, again like i said hobby link japan for this uh ebay if you have to um that's it uh thanks for watching really appreciate it um Please leave your comments in the comment section below. Uh, give me a couple likes if you wish. Uh, subscribe if you wish. Um, I'm enjoying doing these. And uh, I'm hoping that uh, there are some people out there that are getting some use out of this. So that's it for Mr. Hanny. Uh, that's it for this review. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Happy modeling.